Yo guys, it's your homie Zeno Payne. I'd like to welcome y'all to our Conqueror's Blade video. And today we're gonna be going over the barracks, soldier pool, and troop types and various skills that they could use in this video. Well, as you guys can see here, we have the barracks. We have the melee infantry, ranged infantry, and cavalry. This is what you have access to in your barracks and who you can recruit. Then you also have the soldier pool and this is the recruitment pool to for soldiers that you can take to battle with you when you're doing pvp and or pve and next up guys we have troop types we have militia northeast and northwest means i'm in the region of northwest these are the troops that i have currently access to in the ptr as you guys can see we have our short and, our short and shield we have our kite shield and spearman, our bows, our muskets, our bow riders, and our so sword riders. We're going to go ahead and jump into the last tree of the northwest round shield 2 troop. And as you guys can see here, this is the brute behavior video showing you what they do. Uh, this is the shield rush. Order your unit to charge a designated location and inflicts high damage on enemies charged along the path to the designated location. Charging soldiers take less damage. We also have speed up and the speed up increases soldiers movement speed by 50% for 10 seconds. Here's the video for that and what it looks like. Then we also have cover me. Order your unit to surround and protect their commander attacking nearby enemies. So this is what the formation looks like. It's pretty sweet. We also have dispersed, shield wall, column, and cover commander. These videos are not yet available, but I'm pretty sure with the full release of the game, Conqueror's Blade, they will be made available. For the unit's description, characteristics, your shield can effectively parry enemies melee and range attacks, proficient in assault, and has an advantage against melee infantrymen. They use all siege weapon types. They wear simple Lamar armor that offers decent protection. They are vulnerable to cavalry. So that's it for the Northwest Round Shield 2 troop. And next up on our troop type list, we have Kite Shield Spearman 2. So we'll go ahead and click on that. What we do have is the behavior of the advance skill, which soldiers slowly advance attacking enemies along their path. Skewtum warriors in this formation cannot receive damage from the front or the sides. Order steady advance. Then we also have Cover Me. And Cover Me grants order your unit to surround and protect their commander attacking nearby enemies which you're the commander. We also have the characteristics for the unit description. Large shields can ward against most head-on attacks. They pos possess excellent anti-charge abilities and are useful against the incursions of all manner of cavalry and infantry. Large shields can protect allies as well. Their armor is thin, which grants them poor maneuverability. And also what I didn't cover for the first troop type is you do have unit attributes and you know like health piercing armor penetration piercing damage slashing armor penetration slashing damage blunt damage piercing defense slashing defense blunt defense and blunt armor penetration so you do have stats for each of the troop types also what i didn't cover too is when you go into the barracks you can equip your soldiers with various armors and also a flag so that way people know where you're coming from and just to brag and all that good stuff and next up on the troop type list we have the english long bowman so we're going to click on that we have behavior location attack order your unit to attack the designated location as you can see in the video depending on where you click is where they're going to attack and then we have cover shot in cover shot, order your unit to cover your hero, attacking surrounding enemy forces. And I gotta say that video looks pretty sick. Your guy being the commander and all, and just walking all through that, you know, barrage of arrows. But the English Longbowman is unit description is can deal big damage to light armored enemies, very long range, and rapid rate of fire. Can use suppressing fire to great effect. Deals very little damage to opponents with heavy armor and or shields and it, they can push siege engines. Now guys, next up on the troop type list, we have the English RQ Bruiser. And as you guys can see, the location attack is pretty much the same as the uh, 
Longbowmen, which is pretty weird. I think they kind of messed up there. But let's go ahead and go into the three wave fire musketeers, form three rows and shoot row by row. So it's pretty cool. We all, you know, have the cavalry and stuff like that. <laughs> then we have the advanced musketeers form three parallel rows and shoot row by row, advancing after each shot. The unit description is can deal huge damage to enemies from medium range, very effective against enemies with heavy armor. Minimal armor offers little to no damage protection. Can push siege engines. And next up on our list, we are getting down to the cavalry. We have the Tatar Monariel cavalry. Sorry if I butchered that. Probably did. But we do have the behavior for them. We have the volley. Order the archers to shoot five volleys at an assigned area. Then we have hunt. Hunt the bull riders focus on a single target, circling and shooting it for 20 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and go back to volley because I think I kind of switched that too quick and read the unit description. High movement speed, excel at attacking while in motion, deals extra damage to light armor units. Scale armor grants very good protection, cannot climb siege towers and other special terrain, cannot push siege engines. And last but not least, what we have available to us in the PTR of troop types is the Cossack Monariel Cavalry. And what we have here is charge. Order your unit to charge to the designated location. And then we have speed up, which increases soldier movement speed by 50% for 10 seconds. And the unit description is extremely high mobility, excels at attacking while in motion. Deals extra damage to enemies wearing light armor, weak armor, vulnerable to ranged attacks, cannot climb siege towers or traverse special terrain such as stairs, cannot push siege engines. And guys, if you're interested in Skyforge gaming news or MMO content, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button and turn on that bell for notifications. And if you guys feel like it, check out my Patreon. Other than that, your homie Xenopain, out. Peace.